In some ways, the DS9 is an intriguing alternative choice to the executive car establishment. Aside from the clunky hybrid setup, it's dynamically capable, and the cabin is uniquely designed and sumptuous enough to tempt buyers away from its German rivals. However, it's seriously hamstringed by eye-watering monthly PCP figures that are significantly more than the class best. Unless the finances are drastically resolved, it's almost impossible to recommend. The DS9 E10's plug-in hybrid carries a badge with a lot of prestige. The original Citroen DS from which the brand takes its name packed revolutionary tech into a striking design and delivered ride comfort that nothing else on the road could match. So can the DS9 recapture that magic? Well, first impressions tease some lovely details to tempt buyers away from the BMW 530e. The jewel-like LED tail lights are a highlight, but it's inside where the DS9 really stands out from the executive car crowd. There's the theater of the BRM clock on the dash. Initially hidden, it rotates into position when the ignition is switched on. Then there's the high center console that gives a snug, coupe-like feel in the front. The design is shown to its best with the optional opera interior, here with deep red Napa leather and an Alcantara headlining. It's a 3,000 pound option, but it does feel very posh. Take one look at those long back doors, and you might assume that the DS9 has limo-like levels of rear legroom. Sadly, it doesn't live up to expectations, foot space is poor, and elsewhere it isn't much different to any other car in the class. Some details feel pricey, but other elements betray parts been rummaging from less expensive Peugeot and Citroën models. The resolution of the rear camera, the nasty feel to the plastic gear shift paddles, and the fact that generally it doesn't feel sturdy in the way its German rivals do, all suggest the DS9's impression of luxury is only skin deep. That also proves to be the case on the road. Here we're trying the plug-in hybrid version of the DS9. It has a 1.6-liter turbo petrol engine with 178 bhp and 300 nm, and a 108 bhp 320 nm electric motor. As with most hybrids, the two power sources don't hit their peaks at the same time, so the total output is 222 bhp and 360 nm through the front wheels. That's not a huge amount of power for a car which, due to its 11.9 kWh battery, good for an electric-only range of around 25 miles, weighs over 1,800 kg. The electric motor gives sprightly and silent performance away from the line, but that feeling soon tails off. When the engine jumps into life, it never feels that quick. The 8-speed auto is abrupt when shuffling through the ratios too. The DS9's chassis is more positive, though. The steering is well-weighted, while the front end is responsive. At motorway speeds, the ride is relaxing, but sharper bumps that leave a BMW 5 Series unruffled can cause the 9's body to wobble.